Hey, how's it going? This is Hellbent, and welcome to Auto Hotkey GUI short tutorial number 19. In this mini tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to set the opacity of your GUI. Uh, some of you might remember the mini tutorial number 7 where I showed you how to actually make your GUI transparent and interact with the objects behind it, uh, similar to like this. Where here I have a transparent GUI, I can actually interact with the things behind it. This is very useful for multiple layer GUIs where you have to actually interact with the different layers of it. And then I have this main layer up on top that I can actually control like this. Okay, so that's that. Um, what we're going to be looking at this time is how to just set the opacity. Now one of the main differences about this is regardless with this, regardless of whether we can actually see through our GUI or if it's completely transparent, we still can't interact with the objects or the layers that are below it. So uh, I'll show a quick example of that. So here's a skit I was working on a little while ago. I still have some more work to do on it. So anyways, right here I have a layer of a GUI that's completely black, and then when I hit the number pad 1, it's going to fade out and reveal what's behind it. Okay, so that's basically what we're going to be doing. Um, this tutorial is going to be a two-part tutorial. So in this first part, I'm just going to get over qu very quickly how to set the opacity and in the second part I'm going to go into more detail and actually by the end of the second part if you follow along you'll end up with a tool that's like this where I now have a toolbar where I can program a bunch of buttons to do whatever I want and then have it up there at the top of my GUI. Anyways let's just jump into this. Um, let me make sure I have all my other programs exited. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create my GUI's template. And I'm just going to make it a nice big size, a width of 500 and a height of 500. I'm going to give it a name. Um, I'm going to call it Mini Tut 19. Add in my return. And then I'm going to add in my GUI close. Okay, now that we have our GUI, I am going to add in a color. Because, uh, because the GUI's basic color is the same as this page here, what I need to do is make it so that way you can see it a little bit better. So I'll change the GUI's color. And what color am I going to use here? I'll use my new tool. So this tool is available on my home page. If you go to my home page and then look in the category called scripts, you can get a copy of this for free. Which makes uh, programming GUIs much easier to get colors and everything. Okay, so here we go. We have a GUI that's 500 by 500. Right, and it's got a nice uh, aqua color to it. Okay, next what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in a button, and we're going to use this button to actually control the opacity of our GUI. And it doesn't really matter its position or its size, so I don't really care too much that it's going to look awkward on the screen. But I'll make a nice big button with 200 and a height of 200. So it's going to look really tacky on the screen. But anyways, uh, here, we'll s Okay. I'll give it, put a word on it. It says change. Okay, so here's our button. And we're going to use this button in a second to actually fade the GUI in and fade it out. <clears throat> So I'm going to attach this to a label. I'm just going to call my label uh, LB. It doesn't really matter what I call it, does it? Not for this purposes. And let me just get it set up. Okay, so here we go. We have our GUI. It's attached to a label. It's got a button on attached to a label. And now what we'll do is we'll actually set the opacity. So what I'm going to do is in here... Why is my mouse going like that? I'm just going to type in winset, 
and then a comma. And now here's the options that I can use. So with this one here, we're going to use transparent. And then we're going to set the level. So the opacity is ranges between 0 and 255, with 0 being completely transparent and 255 being completely opaque. So we're going to what we're going to do is we are not going to do it this way. We're not going to do it this way. I forgot that I actually want to fade in and fade out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a variable and I'm just going to call it var because I don't really need it to mean anything to me. I'm going to set its value to 255 to begin with, which is going to be our GUI is completely opaque. And then I'm going to come into a loop for 255 times. And now in here, I'm actually going to change the opacity. <clears throat> so I'm going to do that wind set again. Wind set transparent. And then I'm going to use the variable var. And the window that we're going to be controlling the, the transparency of is mini tut 19. Okay, I think I have everything I need there for all of its properties. So I have wind set, transparent, the value that's currently stored in var, which is to begin with, is going to be 255. So we can, com it's completely opaque. And then the title of the window that we're going to be controlling, which is this GUI up there. Now I'm just going to take our var variable and I'm going to increment it. I'm going to subtract one from its value. And because it'll go through this really quickly, I'm actually going to add in a little bit of a delay. So I'll add uh, 30 milliseconds. That might be too long, but I think it should be okay. So that's going to zoom it out um, or make it transparent. And then I'm going to just do the opposite to fade it back in. So this time I'm going to take the var variable which will, by the time it gets to here, it'll equal zero, and I'll just add one to it until it equals 255 again. All right, I think we have our program. So if I hit this, the GUI should start to fade out. Okay. And then once it's completely opaque, it should start to zoom back in. Okay, now, like I said before, um, I'm going to comment this out for a second. Like I said before, even though we end up with a GUI that's completely transparent here, so here, I'm going to move it over here. So even though our GUI is completely transparent, we can't actually interact with the stuff behind it which is why I usually use trans color for multiple layer GUIs because I never have a need to actually just make it transparent like that. But anyways, I think that covers our tutorial. Uh, have a good day and I'll see you on the next one, which I should start recording as soon as I finish recording this one. All right, have a good evening.